gifts. Regalos to me. Back off. Out. Off. Regalos. Amigos. Atrás. Atrás. Now, these guns are gifts from Uncle Sam. Barry, put the bat down, we're on. We're all friends here. Boy, what the hell are you doing here? This is Don Adolfo Calero. He works for your government on the revolution to bring down the Sandinistas. Jorge tells me you are the crazy gringo who always delivers. We have a new business proposition to you, Barry. You bring your American guns to Colombia, deliver our cocaine here to the Contras. The Contras take it by fishing boats to Miami. And everybody's happy. It's for the war effort, Mr. Sim. Turns out the Contras didn't really want to fight a war. They just wanted to make money, like the rest of us. Meanwhile, the Medellin cartel wanted guns. So they worked out a little trade. What was I going to tell him? I'm just a gringo who always delivers. Here's how the operation worked. I'd load up with guns and meet them. Then, using Schaefer's intel, I'd bypass any law enforcement and fly straight to the cartel's airstrip in Medellin. Bueno, moviéndose, pues. Colombians, well, they love them guns. <laughs> then I'd load up with fresh powder and fly on to the Contra training camp. The Contras hid the coke in fishing boats and sailed it up to Miami. Meanwhile, I'd get another load of powder, take it back to the States with a quick stop to refuel in Panama, under the protection of my old friend, Colonel Noriega. Congratulations on your promotion, General. Of course, he'd get his cut, too. On the way back, I'd keep an eye out for the DEA, and then I'd dump it all in the swamps of Louisiana. The operation got so big, I had to get some help. Pete Dubois manufactured guns until he discovered he had a knack for selling pot. Stan Mason flew dope from Mexico to Arizona. Bill Cooper, he flew opium all around Southeast Asia during Vietnam. Then there's Bob. Uh, I don't know much about Bob. Hell of a pilot, though. I called these boys my snowbirds. And we could fly through anything. 